What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. This week we're gonna to talk to you about an awesome spot that we found in Georgia. Um, we just can just keep adding it to the list uh, when you talk about cool spots to go to in Georgia. Uh, and this one's pretty awesome, so stay tuned. So the state park that we're talking about this week is Providence Canyon State Park in Lumpkin, Georgia. Um, this place is really cool. Uh, it definitely reminds us of something that you really see out west, uh, not something that you definitely not something you would find uh, in Georgia. There's no camping at this state park, so we had to find somewhere else to stay. Uh, and the place that we chose to stay was Bluff Creek Campground, which is a Corps of Engineers park, uh, about a half an hour away. There is a state park that is only about 10 minutes away from Providence Canyon, uh, and that's the Florence Marina State Park. Uh, but for our stay, we chose the Corps of Engineer Park, uh, a little less expensive since we're only gonna be there just a couple of days. That park is uh, was not busy at all. Uh, there was plenty of availability, uh, even on a weekend. Um, and that's probably due to a couple of things. Uh, we looked up the reviews on Campendium, and uh, the reviews overall were good, but one thing that kind of uh, kept coming up in the reviews was you do have the chance of getting a little bit of a funky smell from a paper plant that is uh, that is not too far from there. So if the wind's blowing in the right direction, you will smell the paper plant. And if you have never smelled a paper plant before, um, they they don't smell great. Uh, they do you know if the, if the wind's blowing and those fumes from that uh, from that plant down the road are, are blowing your way, it's it's not pleasant, uh, not a pleasant place to sit outside and enjoy the outdoors uh, when you have that, that smell in the air. Um, but we went ahead and uh, we went ahead and stayed there anyway. Uh, the sites are huge. Um, as far as that goes, the sites were great. They were, they were massive. Um, and again, we had our pick of pretty much any site you know that we wanted. Uh, our site kind of backed up to the water, so we had a nice view of the of the lake, even though we didn't sit outside and, uh, and enjoy that while we were there. For a couple of reasons, the smell and the heat. Even though it was September, you could definitely tell we were back in the south, which is probably why we had another problem there, and that was with ants. Yeah, we uh, got inundated immediately. I mean, they must have been waiting in the grass for us to put the jacks down, because it seems like by the time we got the fifth wheel leveled, and came inside it feels like we started seeing them immediately and uh, you know we always carry the tarot ant baits with us uh, those are fantastic for taking care of uh, your ant problem real quick um, but I mean we went normally we'll see a few and you know you kind of have a heads up hey there's there's some ants around they're starting to get in let's put the baits down these things were like BAM I mean there were seemed like thousands of ants um, so we got the terror ant baits down. I put one outside. Um, I could see right where they were coming up the jack, uh, climbing up the jack leg to come in. So put one outside, put some inside, um, and uh, uh, we did end up getting rid of them. But man, uh, they have a they do have a tremendous tremendous uh, ant problem there as well. So uh, as far as Corps of Engineer campgrounds go, the price was right for sure, but uh, definitely some challenges between the uh, between the smell and uh, and the ants. But with 88 sites, um, if you're just gonna be there for just a day or two, um, and you're prepared to maybe put some put something down around your jacks uh, to help combat the ants a little bit, uh, and you're not planning on really staying at the campground or sitting outside, then um, it's definitely a decent spot to stop, especially if you're gonna visit uh, Providence Canyon State Park. So Providence Canyon State Park, uh, someone that's been on our radar for a while, we've seen pictures from there, uh, definitely somewhere that we wanted to check out and uh, it just so happened that as we were passing through Georgia we were going to be uh, very very close so we decided this was a great opportunity to go visit. Um, it was established in 1971 as a state park and they call it uh, Georgia's Little Grand Canyon and once you see some of our video and some of the pictures uh, it's it's easy to see why. Um, kind of the unique thing about this state park though is this isn't a natural formation like the Grand Canyon. Um, 
This was caused by poor farming practices in the 1800s. So uh, they came in, uh, the settlers came in, took all the trees out so that they could start farming land, and that created a tremendous erosion problem. And by 1850, there were trenches that were like four and five feet deep already uh, running through the land there. And what has happened over the years, uh, some of those, some of those trenches and all that erosion now have uh, developed into giant canyons uh, and some of them are 150 feet deep so um, definitely a little different uh, a little different as to how it formed versus you know some of the natural uh, canyons that you see out west but uh, nonetheless uh, it's still a pretty incredible place and uh, incredibly uh, incredibly scenic yeah and one of the neat things is that you can go down into the canyon and walk and get that view as well as see the view from the top. So the canyon loop trail, uh, it's about a two and a half mile trail and it starts at the visitor center. So all of their trails start right uh, right at the visitor center and it walks you down into the canyon so you can go down and then uh, there's different branches off the trail that shoot down into uh, each uh, of the canyons. So on their map it shows nine canyons but when we uh, were given the map at the visitor center, uh, they told us that actually Canyon uh, Canyon Eight, either Canyon Eight has washed into Canyon Nine or Nine has washed into Eight. So they they kind of formed into one uh, one canyon now. So, um, but you can branch off of the trail and walk down to the end uh, of each of the each of the canyons there. Uh, they also have a big backcountry uh, trail that you can uh, that you can hike, but it's uh, seven miles, so much 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 longer. But uh, the Canyon Loop Trail was very neat because it does give you a really cool perspective of seeing the canyon from down inside and looking up. And then as you come out and you go back up and continue the trail around, you uh, kind of walk along the rim of the canyon on the way back uh, toward the visitor center. So uh, you get that view from, from above looking down into the canyon. So um, really cool and not incredibly strenuous. Um, you know, that's a good thing too is uh, the trail is not super steep um, two and a half miles isn't that far you can just you know take your time spend some time exploring the different canyons and checking everything out and then uh, you know it's just a nice a nice walk around the the rim of the canyon on the way back yeah and on another unique thing is the old cars yeah they left a lot of old vehicles there so as you come up out of the canyon and you start headed toward the the rim trail part of the of the loop uh, you're gonna see a bunch of old cars and uh, they left them there because it would cause too much environmental damage to get equipment in there to try to get those vehicles out uh, a lot of little small animals have used them for nests and made homes in there uh, and it would just cause too much too much damage to the area to try to remove the cars so they left them uh, so it's kind of a neat feature uh, to see those, those very very old cars just Kind of buried back there uh, along the trail, so it definitely adds uh, adds something different uh, to the experience for sure. Um, we took a ton of footage, uh, got a lot of video, a lot of pictures when we were there. Um, and again, you know, it is it is really neat. I would highly recommend going down into the canyon and seeing it from down there because it gives you a whole different perspective when you come up top and you look uh, you look down into the canyon. Um, definitely, the most scenic views are from up top, looking down into the canyon. Uh, they look much more impressive from up top looking down uh, versus being down inside of them you know looking up um, so we're gonna wrap this video up um, and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and add all this footage that we got of these uh, these beautiful canyons right here on the end of the video so I hope you guys enjoy uh, enjoy some of our footage from Providence Canyon State Park it is a place we would highly highly recommend and uh, that's gonna do it for now we appreciate you guys watching. We'll catch you guys down the road.